I'm making something new today. A new type of storytelling, it's not like those type of one-shots. This one, it's about someone's life. I'm not gonna tell too much, but I hope you enjoy this video. Smile. In real life, not everything is sunshine and rainbows. No one is perfect. Not everyone says the right words, not everyone does the right things. I was like that one time, scared to show my face. Scared of people judging me. People can be like that sometimes, not knowing anything but they think they know everything. Before you started to talk, they started to judge. Love yourself. I hated that sentence. Because of this scar, that I got when I was a kid. But now, I say, I'm the most luckiest person. And I'm very very happy that I have an idiot, and I love him so much. It's only for him that I can smile and I can remove my mask. No matter what, he looks at me and smile and I love it. Oh me. Yeah, that's him, my idiot. We have been dating for five years and he makes me feel loved every single moment. Hey Atsu. Hey. Why are you wearing your mask? It's not fair. Let me see your pretty face. You are so stupid, laughing. Happy. Yes. You look so cute. Atsumu gently holds his face, and kissed him on his cheek. So pretty. Smiles. Where is Osamu and Suna? Aren't they going to come? Of course they are coming I said, I want to go on a double date. I came quickly, because I missed you. Why did you leave first? Atsu, I missed you too, but you didn't see me for only an hour, I was getting tickets for the movie. An hour is too long. You could just take me with you. You were asleep, I didn't want it to wake you up. I promise I will take you next time with me okay. Please don't be mad at me Atsu. I can never be mad at you. Suna. Please hold me I'm about to faint. Oh no my love. Please don't leave me. Are you guys done? Overacting much. I'm just showing. That you two are being way to cringe in the middle of the street. You know us. I don't care. I can say I love you too my Omi whenever I want. As much as we are happy to see you guys happy, and being sweet. But, I'm not going to be happy, if for you guys I miss the movie. Let's go guys I don't want to make him angry. Yasuna is scary when he is angry. Yeah it's my story, hi, I'm Kiyumi Sakusa, I'm 23 years old, and the story is from 5 years ago, I wasn't a very talkative person back then. Everyone thought that I was trying to act cool. Teenagers are stupid. I was one of them, I can say. But I can't change that, because of my childhood trauma, I was scared to speak, scared to even remove my mask. I thought if I do that, everyone will call me a freak. They did, when I was a child, though I was in kindergarten and can't remember most of it. The letter that my grandma gave me, before she passed away. I was 15 years old, keep in mind I forgot about my past, I was so scared of it. The letter told me, about the time when I was a kid, about my scar. When I was little my parents didn't have a great relationship at all, Constant arguing was the thing that I was mostly grown upon, my mom probably had a mental disorder because, a normal person wouldn't do the things that she did. I was probably 4 or 5 when the incident happened, dad was cheating on mom behind her back and I guess she found out. For me their arguing was normal. So on that day after eating some fruits that the neighbor gave me. I go to bed as usual. I woke up to smoke all over the room, mom started a fire in the house, all of us in it. I guess she was done with life. I was scared and didn't know what to do, I tried to run out of the house but the smoke wasn't helping. I faint because of the smoke, 
and when I woke up I was rushed to the hospital. The neighbor called the firefighters and the ambulance, they also call my grandmother who was living in the country. When I woke up my grandmother hugged me apologizing profusely for not getting me sooner, when I asked where are my parents, she just said, they didn't make it. That was the last time I talked about my parents. And that was the time I got the scar. After that I moved to my grandmother's house, and when I started going to kindergarten, that's the time the bullying started. My grandmother tried her best to protect me, and I am grateful for that. Because of her I started to go to school, I learned how to survive. Although, she loved me I was scared to tell her, that I'm having a very bad time in the school, I was scared that if I told her she will leave me, so she never knew about that. But now when she is gone, I wish that I could repay her kindness. After the incident, I lived with her and I started to work part-time, in a small shop when I turned 13. I worked there for two years, in those two years I talk with my co-worker a little only work-related stuff, but I didn't remove my mask. But it wasn't easy, studying while working was really hard I barely got any sleep, and I didn't have a great manager, he always yelled at me for no reason. I was the youngest of them all, so naturally I was their target, especially because I didn't talk much and he thought he can get away with this, and he did. Dot dot. No one cared about me, grandma was the only one that made me a little happy, after I go to home she always made me something to eat. After two years my grandma passed away from a disease, I was really upset and I wanted an off day just to stay with her. But my manager told me that I am just overreacting and get over it, when he said that, it really broke my heart. I wanted to go there and personally slap him but I couldn't. I decided to move to a new country, I had some savings so the next month I did it, I moved to a new country without telling that I'm quitting. Yeah pretty anticlimactic right, I know but that's what happened, I was too exhausted to do anything. I rented a cheap apartment, and started to go to a high school. Time skip, two years later. Hey Omi, good morning, he again, what does he want from me? I never talked with anyone, and because of that no one likes me, but this guy is. Hey do you know? Something crazy happened. Osamu didn't fight with me when I was about to leave for the class. Aren't you the one who starts the fights for no reason at all? I'm used to giving answer in, nodding. Anyways, did you do your homework? Yay, I also finished my homework today. Guys look two weirdos are coming to school again. Yeah why are you guys here? Shouldn't you be at the zoo? Nice one bro. Laughing. At least, our life isn't that boring that we have to bully others for entertainment. What did you say? Didn't you heard me? Wow. You should clean your ears. You little. Let's just go. They're freaks anyway. Can't let people have the wrong ideas that we know them or anything. Fine. I hate them. Are you okay Omi? Don't listen to those kind of people. Sakusa nods. Why does he always defense me? He is getting a bad reputation because he is staying with me. He will get bad luck if he stays with me. Finally we are at the class. It's nice that we are in the same class this year too, don't you think so? Another thing if I fell asleep in the middle of the lecture don't bother to wake me up, I'm tired. 30 minutes later after the professor came and started with the lecture. As Atsumu said previously, he fell asleep. I'm not surprised at all. What was he drawing on the paper? A birthday card, for Osamu. Osamu is his twin brother, so tomorrow is their birthday. It's not like we are friends or anything, so I don't have to give him anything. I'll just pretend I didn't saw anything. 
Most of the class at Sumu spend sleeping, because a storm was coming so the school decided the class will end early. Sakusa was about to walk out of the school campus when Atsumu called him. Sakusa turned around and he saw that Atsumu came and he was panting. I was calling you for so long Omi. Hey tomorrow is me and Osamu's birthday, you are invited. You have to come. Sakusa raised his eyebrows in confusion. Why does he want me to come? Is he going to make fun of me? Don't worry it will be only four of us we don't like big parties, so it's fine, smiles. Sakusa was about to shook his head implying no, when Atsumu handed him a piece of paper. This is the house that we live in, okay bye see you tomorrow Omi. Saying that he runs off. I didn't have the chance to say. No, should I go? I never been to a party. But I don't even have a gift. I can't go empty handed. I don't have much money. I do have some savings, that should work. But what should I give them? Should I apologize the next day? Saying, I couldn't make it. The next day, what am I doing here? Why did I even came, it's not like me being present matters or anything. He was thinking to himself what to do when he heard, at Sumu and Osamu's voice. Samu why is Omi taking so long? I don't know, maybe he is busy. Did he really wanted to come? Or did you, didn't give him a chance to say no? No, sigh, why are you so stubborn? I just really like him. And I want three of my favorite people on this day. Is it too much to ask? He likes me. Wow. I never thought that anyone will say that about me. Now I feel bad for only bringing flowers. Atsumu is too nice. Well, you like him but maybe he doesn't like you. Did you ever think about that, that you are being annoying? Hey. Look the guy never spoken to you, actually, do you even know his voice? No, maybe he is shy. Two years, it's true, he don't even know my voice. But he always try to be a perfect friend. Look, he will talk to me when he wants to, I'm not going to force him. Fine, Osamu gets a call, Osuna is calling me. When he said that Sakusa ring the doorbell, keep in mind he was outside the whole time. I'll go open the door. Osamu nods and goes to talk with Suna. Atsumu opens the door and smiles seeing Sakusa. Omi, you came. I'm so happy. Come in. Atsumu turned around to escort him into the kitchen, but Sakusa grabbed his hand. Atsumu turned around. Yes Omi. It's now or never, it's the least I can do for him. H happy birthday Atsumu. When Atsumu heard that his eyes started to sparkle, and he smiles. Thank you Omi, smiles. I'm so lucky that I have a friend like Atsumu. I know it's not much but, I brought some flowers for you. Hey don't say that, I'm happy that you are comfortable with me, to talk and you are here that's the best gift. Is he even human? How is he this nice? Hey Sakusa. Oh Samu, where is Suna? He went to get the cake 30 minutes ago, why is he taking so long? Yeah don't worry, he will be here in 10 minutes. Okay. Omi come I'll show you our house. One month has passed since that incident happened, and Atsumu is the only one who Sakusa talks to, it's not much but it's a big progress, and he is mostly happy because Atsumu didn't make a big deal of that incident. Cute story right, a happy ending. Sakusa found someone that he can really talk to, who understood him, I wish it was that easy. He was happy until that happened. For that, Sakusa started to skip school, the thing that he never did. Atsumu is really confused. Why is Sakusa not coming to school? Where is he? What happened to him? Is he sick? Is all the questions that Atsumu is thinking. 
But where can he find those answers? It's not like Sakusa gave him his number. Actually does he even have a phone? It's been a week, but no words from Sakusa. The only way Atsumu can talk with him is in school. Or is it? Atsumu remembered a conversation that he had with Sakusa. Sakusa told him that after school hours, he works in a coffee shop really close to the school. And he knows that, there is not many coffee shop in that area, not more than like or three. So Atsumu decided after school he will go and look for Sakusa. After going and looking for him in two coffee shops but there was no sign of Sakusa, Atsumu didn't lost hope in going to the last coffee shop, he sees Sakusa making coffee so he enters the coffee shop and sits on a table he calls in waiter, and told them that he wants to talk with the curly hair. Can we talk? Oh sorry, can we talk after your shift is over? Sakusa nods. After Sakusa's shift ended, they go to a park and Atsumu bought two drinks for them. So, did something happen? I noticed that you didn't came to school for a week, it's really unusual for you to skip school. Yeah, I have a little problem with my landlady. What happened? Can you tell me, maybe I can help you? You did so much for me, what can you do more? I didn't do anything really, I just want you to come back to school, it's boring without you. Really? Yes, and look. I wrote all the notes that you missed in this week. It's for you. But you never pay attention to class or take notes. Because, you didn't came. I was so bored so I thought why not take note, and beside you get upset if you missed anything so it's all for you. Atsumu I, now, can you please tell me what happened? Fine. So you didn't have the money to pay your rent and for that your apartment manager yelled at you. Yeah, I thought that I have time, but guess not. So I was working a lot of part time to pay the rent and for that, I didn't came to the school. She sounds horrible. You look so tired. You know what? I have a great idea. Idea for what? You can stay with us. We have a spare room and rent will be very cheap, if four of us stay together. What? But are you sure? I don't want to be a burden. Don't you dare say that. We are looking for a roommate anyways and you will be perfect, you will never be a burden. When Sakusa heard that he almost cried. Thank you Atsumu, I don't know how will I repay you. You can repay me by coming to school. I'm bored taking notes. Yeah, of course promise, from tomorrow I will come to school. Some weeks later, Sakusa has been living with them. As Atsumu said previously, everyone was really excited to see Sakusa. Sakusa also started to talk, but just a little. Sakusa was asleep when he heard some faint sounds from Atsumu's room. Sakusa walked to his room, and knocks on the door. Omi. Yes. Come in. The door is unlocked. Sakusa opens the door and comes inside the room, there he sees Osamu sitting on Atsumu's bed, and Atsumu sitting beside him. Hey Sakusa, did we wake you up? No, it's fine. Omi, can you please tell Samu to just confess already? He is not listening to me. Huh, I'm not sure that he likes me or not. La 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 la, I can't hear you. I think Suna likes you too Osamu. You too Sakusa. See, I told you, Suna likes you. Fine, I will confess, but if he rejects me, I'm gonna kill you Atsumu. Deal, I'm done with you being annoying. 30 minutes later, Sakusa and Atsumu were hiding behind a door not far from the main door of the house. Osamu called Suna to ask where he is, and Suna said he is coming. Today will be the best day of my life or the worst day of my life. Samu, be more confident. I can see that you are thinking something negative. Atsumu calm down he is nervous. 
fine. I'm confident because Suna is the one who said to me that he likes Samu not long than a month ago. Omi, if Suna say yes to his confession then you have to buy me something, and if he says no I'll buy you something. No thanks I'm good. What why? Oi, shut up he is here. Suna opened the door and walks inside seeing Osamu holding a bunch of flowers he was confused and asked. Is this for me? but it's not my birthday. Yes, this is for you, and no it's not because of anyone's birthday. Rinai I like you, will you go out with me? Wait, don't you think it's very sudden? I mean I don't mind, I like you too. Yeah I know it's very sudden wait, you like me too. Yeah dummy, don't you think it was obvious enough? Atsumu was trying very hard to listen their conversation, so he decided to press his ear on the door, but he accidentally turned the door knob and Atsumu almost fell face first but luckily Sakusa caught him. Are you okay Atsumu? Be more careful. Sue spying on us. Have any excuse Atsumu. Oh shoot I was fine but now. I don't know. I was sleepwalking. Face palms laughing. Six months has passed since them Sakusa is now 18 year old, his social skills is improve a little, but he still haven't show his face yet, but I guess it will change today. Sakusa was looking for Atsumu because it's highly unusual that he isn't with him at lunch time. Where can he be? I looked all around the school campus. Omi, you know the big tree in front of the school ground. Someone, wrote me a letter and told me to meet them there, so if you don't found me at lunchtime just know that I'll be there. With Atsumu, will you go out with me? No, I'm sorry, I like someone else. What? Let me guess is it your Omi? Yeah, if you know, then why did you confess? I thought that was a rumor. Well you thought wrong, have a good day. Oh my goodness my head is really hurting. What? Oh hey Omi, did you eat your lunch without me? If not can we go to the canteen, I want to buy something. Why are you changing the subject? I heard that you like me, me. The guy who never showed you his face. I like your personality, I like you for who you are, and beside, you didn't show me your face, because it's your choice. I told you from the beginning that I wouldn't force you to do anything. Well I am sure you will not like me if I show you my face, so get over with that. You can't decide, what I will like or not. You are so stubborn. Yep. That's how I'm. How about now? Sakusa hesitantly removed this mask. It's. Hideous. I know I'm hideous, you wear hiding this. Do you really think that a scar will change my feelings for you? That feeling that I have for you for three years. What? No I mean, Atsumu gently holds his face. Dummy, don't you ever say that you are hideous, if you say that again you will be sorry. I thought you will call me a. A. Hey it's okay Omi. Pfft did you really think that you can get rid of me that easily, laughing. Listen here Omi, I will wait for your answer as long as it takes. Ha you're an idiot, I better be your idiot. End of flashback. Thank you for everything Atsu. So Atsu, why did you rejected them so harshly that day? Oh, don't you remember them? Do I need to? Yes, they are the one who made fun of you and I hate them for that. The end. Sigh, that was a long episode. Did you guys enjoy the video? I had so much fun writing this, maybe a little too much fun. It's going to take so long to edit this video. I mean, anything for you guys, if you are new to my channel you better subscribe and like, I deserve that. Have a great day or night, bye.